at COP27, the drive to save the planet collided with host Egypt's abysmal record on human rights. With Sana Saif, sister of the country's highest profile political prisoner, in the middle of it. I ask her the question, she should answer me. In a chaotic news conference, an Egyptian MP accused her of being a puppet for Western governments. I'm really worried. She told us no one knows the condition of her brother, Ala Abdel Fattah. We don't know. Uh, since he stopped water, we haven't had any proof of life. Abdel Fattah is a blogger who protested military rule. He spent the better part of a decade imprisoned and is now on a hunger and water strike. Okay. She's asking I Canada British, to pressure uh, Egypt for his access. release. I know Ali is not Canadian, but uh, but other other embassies can show their solidarity. Her pleas have galvanized civil society groups here who say without political freedoms, you can't have progress on climate. The government of Egypt does not take concrete action to release him within the next um, few days. He will die. He will die. And this ghost will haunt COP27. Canada's Minister of Environment and Climate Change, Stephen Guilbeault, told us he's raised the matter with Egypt. The Canadian government is uh, having very uh, frank and honest conversation about human rights with the Egyptian government. It started before the COP, it's happening during COP, it will continue after COP. The Egyptian government claims this is a matter for the courts. Wael Abu Magad is a former ambassador to Canada. We would hope that uh, conditions are uh, appropriate and that he chooses not to harm himself in that fashion. Sana Saif says she fears her brother may be force-fed to keep him alive while the UN delegates are here. Several European leaders have also raised his case, which is now arguably getting as much attention as the climate talks. Chris Brown, CBC News, in Sharm el-Sheikh.